Welcome to a brand new video on this channel. Um, I'm sorry if you can hear the fan in the background when it comes past, and it's quite hot in my room. Um, I have like a quite a small room. The heat kind of builds up very, very quickly, and it just gets very, very hot. So I have to have like my fan on 24/7, which is very, very annoying. Um, yeah, so today is going to be a bit of a different video. We are currently on Forza. It's just because I thought I'd stream something whilst I'm doing it. Um, I This is the problem when I make YouTube videos. I have to stream it or I have to use the upload thing that Xbox have. And upload just does my head in because you can't even talk for 20 minutes unless you're magically doing something i don't know but xbox upload which is the video making thing that they have it only allows you to make videos up for i think half an hour but if you're talking in that as well then you're basically screwed basically um so that's why i'm having to literally live stream every single video that i do um not every live stream i do go makes on to youtube um, it's usually if, if I'm talking about something that's important or I feel like I need to make a video on. Um, but yeah, so, uh, before I do start this video properly, um, there's a few things that I do want to mention. Um, so with obviously F1 coming out, I think it's next week, I believe. Um... I have shown interest in AOR uh, for the next season. Um, obviously, we're, I'm obviously having to wait until they do the time trials and stuff. And then I, 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 I'm still going to be in a CIS league just because I'm still not comfortable with um, doing manual stuff just yet. Uh, I'm going to learn it. And then probably for the next season after the, I've done this one, that's probably when I will try and go up some like up more tiers. Possibly, I think you can have assists in. I'm not sure because it goes from assist leagues because this well for the last season they added a third tier, and because I basically messed up when I was doing my time trials I didn't do them with enough uh, time so I was put into tier assist 3 um, which I wasn't that mad about to be fair at least I got to race it's just I like the, the obviously the seasons or well, the season before that I was in assist league 1 and going from assist league 1 to assist league 3 I mean it was easier don't get me wrong um, I'm probably going to try and stick in between either two or three. I do want more of a challenge, but I, I really liked when I was in Assist League 3 because it was just a lot more competitive for me. Um, but I mean, I think it all depends on your time trials. So I'm not going to say I'm going to sit there and when I do my time trials, I'm going to make them crap so I can go into that league. It literally depends on how I do my time trials and that's basically it um, also to do with AOR because uh, I'll be buying it obviously I don't know when I'll buy it I'll buy it eventually um, I'm going to be giving it to my friend as well uh, so he's uh, kind of like signed up for it as well so hopefully me and him can be teammates and if we're not then uh, I'm sorry mate but I'm gonna have to destroy you <laughs> just a little bit of rivalry but um yeah so if you haven't followed our Instagram and our Twitter um, a lot of things get mentioned on there about like the teams that we're gonna be in um, obviously we don't know what team we're gonna be in just yet or what tier or even if we get into it I have no idea until I do my time trials but um but yeah that I think that's basically it to do with AOR I also have signed up for URL which is Ultra Racing League um if you remember back to my first season in F1 on in AOR I had a teammate called 
I think his game attack at the time was B O R. Um, and what it was, I think it was B O R the clerk. He has actually just joined a racing team called Born. I think that's what it is. I have to check. I mean, I could look, but I mean, it's just I bothered. Um, so he's. Uh, he does quite a lot of league racing as well. I think he races nearly every day, which is unbelievable. But um, I've joined URL, which one of his friends, I think, runs as well. Um, so I'll be getting into that. I've already signed up. I think, I don't know how they do their, like, who they choose to put into leagues. I'm not, like, 100% sure. But, um, but yeah, so that's uh, something I get else to do. I'm not sure if my friend is going to be joining it as well, uh, Richard, which is the person I've been trying to get into league racing. Um, I think he's been in a couple of my videos before. Um, it's mainly GTA. But, um, but yeah, that's basically that. And I haven't signed up for any more leagues. I probably will. Uh, probably sometime next week possibly um but yeah uh, i literally don't know why i've come onto forza i think it's just because i know it's a game that i can easily do a video on whilst doing this uh actually you know what whilst i am making this video we are gonna buy a car and upgrade it i don't know what car i want now i want something that um would look nice in my garage like i've got most of these cars there is a car on gta that i was gonna buy but um, i don't want to go on gta just yet and there's no point going on gta just to make this little video but anyways let's get into why i'm making this video um it's around like my gaming history so like when i started and to where i am now um so basically i started gaming when i was about um, I think I was around six or seven when I started to like get into like gaming and all that. I mean, not like professionally or competitively. It's just when I first started playing video games. So my first console was a PS One, I believe. I think I had a Nintendo sixty four sometime as well. I don't know if that was before the PlayStation one or not. But I've had a PlayStation one to start off with. Um, I think my favourite game to play on that game was probably, uh, it was an F1 game, I'm not actually sure which one it was, I think it was like, 98, I think, I mean I was only 3 years old when that, well, hang on, let me think, I was around about 3 years old when that first game, well, when that game came out so I don't know if that was the first game I played but that was my favourite game that I played on Playstation 1 which I mean for now I'm a, I'm a massive F1 fan um, would literally do anything just to get F1 games it's just, I, I love them uh, so that was my first console that I remember having uh, we're going to buy this M3 because I don't actually have one believe it or not um then I think it was the Nintendo 64, if I remember correctly. I'm probably wrong in saying that, um, but yeah. And then we got a PlayStation 2, which I, I fucking loved. Uh, then I think we had another PlayStation 2, because we had the slim... No, we had the fat one first, um, which was then put upstairs, and then we got... The slim version of it as well, which I think was put downstairs, I believe. Um, I like these liveries, but like, I don't want to put a livery on my car unless it's my own, which I'm probably going to do. Uh, so we're just going to put a colour on it. We'll, we'll make it like a blue. I don't want a blue one. Yeah, that's still what it's like. I'm just going to put a on it for now. Yeah, sure, why not? Um, where was I? Oh, yeah. Uh, so we had the Slimline PlayStation. Um, then... I moved to, like, games on, like, the PC. And I remember playing, I think it was FIFA 
2002. That was probably my favourite game that I played, just because I was I was so into it. Um, it's probably a bit weird to say that with being it's such an old game, but it was really really fun to play. Um, I like this body kit on it actually. I do like this body kit. Um, so yeah, then there was PC, and then, I don't think I had any, oh, I had a Nintendo DS. I also had a Game Boy Advanced as well. Uh, what else have I had? I think that was it to do with consoles until I moved to my dad's. Because at the time, it was getting closer to Christmas, and I wanted to get a PlayStation 3. Um, and then obviously, um, obviously with my mum passing away, it kind of, like she was going to buy me one for that Christmas. And then we were actually going to move out by New Year's and have our own house in Bedford. Um, but all those plans kind of, uh, got changed by then, obviously. Um, so, uh, yeah, then I don't think I played anything, like my other brother, um, which one, my half-brother, he had, like, a PlayStation, and my dad had, like, a PC, so I was playing this F1 game, I can't actually remember what it was actually called, um, I think it was, like, F1 2004 or something, it was quite an old game, but it was, like, on PC, I can't remember what it was actually called, but I, I enjoyed that game, I was, I, Played it quite a lot, to be fair. Um, so my brother also had a PlayStation 3. Um, my first game on PlayStation 3 was actually FIFA... FIFA 10. I brought it off, well, my friend had two copies. And he obviously didn't need two copies, so he just gave me one of his ones for, for like nothing. I mean, I'm not going to complain about it, so it's a free game. So, I mean, I'm not going to complain. Um, but yeah, it was... That was the first game that I ever had on PlayStation 3. And then, I think it was the year after, I believe, I got my f own PlayStation 3, and I believe my first game that I had was... I think I had the I had that FIFA there, um, and then it was GTA, um, and I think everyone remembers how GTA was back on like the 360 and PS3s. It's pretty terrible, but I had that. Um, then uh, in 2012, after I left school, I did. Like three week work placement thing at a, a console repair shop and like my brother he had like an xbox and then like kind of needed fixing so i took that off his hands and um basically just fixed it basically so i had i got to keep it um yeah that's how i got my first uh, 360 with the help of my, my granddad because he like brought all the like leads and everything because I didn't have any leads or anything it was literally just standard Xbox and I think I got all that for my birthday if I remember correctly um, I think I can actually change the real cut of this if I'm not and that's it until I moved out and then moved in with my cousin and I, I still had my PS3 then. Um, then I moved, uh, then I sold, no, I think I swapped it for an Xbox and then I was literally just selling and buying, selling and buying. 
And I think I had like seven Xbox 360s. Um, then I got kicked out of my cousins and then moved in with my nan. And my brother, that's not the same brother, I had, I've got two brothers. Uh, he had his own Xbox One and a 360 at the time. Uh, so I was using his Xbox One until I brought my own, which was like two, one and a bit years later. Um, which is the one I'm using now, actually. I've not had, I've had this Xbox for nearly two years now, and it's not done anything extremely bad or anything. Um, it's been pretty well behaved. I don't know if you can say an Xbox behaves itself. Bit of a weird, but um, but yeah, like it's it's done nothing wrong to me. Um, shame I can't say about my TV because my TV broke, so I had to get a new one. Um, it's much much bigger. I I don't mind it. It just gets hot over a period of time. Um, but yeah, but that's basically all the consoles that I've had. Um. In basically that long period of time, uh, we are gonna whack a spoiler on this. There's anything better with it. We're gonna make it this into like a race car or some sort. Um, what else? That's basically all the consoles that I've had. So I'm gonna go through because obviously, when I was on these consoles from. Uh, my PlayStation to now I've been involved with quite a few teams and organisations and shit so I'm going to start off with the PlayStation 3 um, I'm actually missing some of these Xbox ones oh no hang on that was just PlayStation that I was mainly with yeah um, so with PlayStation I was with a clan, I think that's what they were called back then. Uh, it's called S6 Gaming, as in the letter S and the 6. I thought it meant Essex, so they were from Essex, but they weren't. They were like, they were from Britain, right? they were from the UK and everything, but I'm, I'm not sure where everyone was from. I think they had about 40 odd people, and it was mainly for like Call of Duty. Um, and then I joined, I left them, uh, because I felt like I wasn't really needed anymore. I mean, they had, like, over 40 people, so I mean, do they really need me? No, not really. So I left. Um, I, I do talk to some of them now and again, to be fair. It's just rare occasion and we're gonna put on all wheel things it's, it's, it's bad. Uh, then I joined section 18 which they do have a YouTube um, and I did mention them in my uh, in a diss track once um, I just fell out with a lot of people um, they thought they were have this big organization I didn't want to be a part of something like that where they were quite a small clan uh, thinking that they were the, the dog's bollocks basically so I didn't really want to be associated with anything to do with that so I, I left and then that's when that's all the teams that I was part of like PS3 I mean like a few of me and my friends we had like a little thing going on but it wasn't anything like majorly amazing um yeah, then I moved on to obviously Xbox, um, which was where it fun the fun begins. So when before I came into Xbox, my brother um, he was a part of this clan called I think it was called Exile Gaming or Extreme Gaming. I can't actually remember what it's called. But it was a part of that, and I was allowed to join it just because. Um, I was talking to the people that are in it before I joined. Um, it was quite a lot of fun. It wasn't like a competitive kind of thing. It was mainly just to have a piss around, basically. And then I joined OGN, which is when things started getting uh, like competitive. We were 
playing against other teams um, because there was quite a lot of members it was quite easy to have a quite a few teams going at the same time um, I think I was in the fourth team um, obviously it's I was like the fourth best team we had um, and we were like playing against I think the most most known was Saw. I think we played against Saw at one time. Um, I think they had like, a competitive team or something. I'm not sure, but it, it said Saw in their game uh, in their game attack. So I'm just going to assume that it was them. Um, then I left OGN. Well, actually, I got kicked from OGN for no good reason. Uh, then I joined Hyper, which wasn't a clan. It was more of a thing to do with GTA. Um, and then I was kicked from that when I was kicked out from my cousins. And then basically a few of my friends, we decided to make Toxic Wolf Gaming, which isn't like a competitive side. Um, it was more... To mess around and then I left that because I fell out with quite a lot of members and made my own thing called TFGK uh, standard it stood for the fallen rim knight because um, that's what I felt like I was um, and then I <laughs> then I left then basically I made up with the people that I fell out with but I still wanted to be the fallen grim knight so um, then we basically changed it from the fallen grim knights to toxic grim knights um, that's why it's called TXGK and then I left them because I fell out of them again and I was literally with FAB for about not even a day and I fell out with a lot of people because they wanted to it was basically like uh, I think it was section 18 on PlayStation they f they were quite a small clan or organization they called themselves and they tried to be as they think they were bigger than that and they really wasn't so when they were just saying like oh yeah we played against these people and that people I'm just like you just really haven't though because I mean, you're playing against these teams where they're playing competitively every like single week or whatever. I can't remember what teams they said they were going up against, but I I even knew it was a load of bollocks for what they were saying. Um, why have I clicked on this? These are, I don't want those designs. I wanted to apply my own decals. There we go. Uh, I'll probably do this off stream later. But um, but yeah. So that I le I literally got I left and then I joined Aqua. Um, which I, I actually wanted to do because I actually enjoyed it. Um, I was with them for like a week, and because some of the members, they, it was it wasn't just a UK organization; they were pretty worldwide. So people from like America were in it, um, Australia, uh, I think South America as well, and there was people from like. Europe as well, like a lot of countries in Europe. Um, so the time zones were a little bit different. So, for instance, when Australia, the people from Australia were talking, people like me were sleeping, and that goes the same with like some Americans as well because their the time differences are like I think like eight hours. So when it's around the time that people were like scrimming and playing competitively a lot of people were asleep like myself when they were doing it so when they were trying to get people everyone like a lot of people from the UK were ignoring um, apart from like the, the night owls that do basically all nighters which I wasn't gonna do I even told them that I wasn't gonna do all nighters because I mean I had better things to do than staying up all night to play COD um, so yeah they basically 
whilst I was asleep and because they assumed I was just ignoring them and not replying to the messages they decided to kick me because I was asleep which I do mention in my diss track um, and their leadership was fucking terrible and ownership was shit so then I joined TXGK again um, that was fun and then <laughs> I left that <laughs> and made TTS which if you remember which was my old gamer tag um, then because I decided that I was just getting pissed off of everyone that was a part of it um, out of TSGK so I made TTS which stands squad because it was just like a group of like five people who were like good friends and all that and then same old story I made up with the people that I fell out with and then we made TTS TK which just put the two players to like two organizations together and then we made SV which um, is what my gamer tag is now um, I don't know how I'm supposed to show you um, yeah, there it is, it's at the top left hand corner um, so SV stands for cynical velocity um, it's it's we're still a part of like TTSDK it's just the competitive side of it I because I'm not the only person that owns this organization is me uh, Jordy because him and me made up uh, TTS um, and then there's Dom which was obviously the the toxic nights side of it um, or toxic warfare as it was but we've changed that all now um, so that's like, we're the three people that kind of own it and to be fair the ownership is quite good to be honest um, I'm not going to complain about it uh, but yeah um, so that's basically all that was uh, and then obviously it's SV Esports that's the thing of it so they're all the teams that I've been a part with now let's talk uh, this this video is probably going to be quite long so gamer tags is of like a thing on Xbox um, obviously PlayStation and like Steam they have their own kind of uh, name ID kind of thing obviously PlayStation they have PSN ID and then I think Steam is Steam ID or Steam name I'm, I don't know I don't play PC um, so with my Xbox um, it's I've had quite a few gamer tags um, some that I'm not really gonna mention because I don't use them um, this is gonna be my main account so Let's start off with my other account, which I play GTA on. So you might notice that this gamer tag is very different to the other gamer tag that I had. So that one was uh, when I was a part of XG, and my name was XG Reapers. Um, so basically, my, like I said, my brother was a part of a clan on Xbox called Oh, it was Extreme Gaming, and basically I just asked if I could join, and they basically they just said yes. So that was from like 2012 to be fair it's probably around about 2013 to be fair but I know it was 2012 yeah uh, and that was two, 2016 so I had that game attack for four years probably a little bit longer than probably just a little bit longer than four years um, then I changed it from XG Reapers to what it is, is now so TFGK GGFB Hens so behind that gamer tag, TFGK was, like I said, the clan. I mean, to be fair, it wasn't a clan. I was only doing it by myself. Uh, it was just a clan that I decided to make. Uh, the GGFB is basically my saying. So um, basically it means go get finger banged. Um, I don't know why. Uh, I just got very, very bored. And then obviously... Um, hens is basically a part of my last name um, so before that I 
uh, had, well, not before, it was about a year after I created my first game of tag that I made another one because I sold my Xbox in between it and I couldn't remember my login details. So, um, yeah, I made a game of tag called X, Mr. Skyline X is when I joined Hyper, uh, made a new account due to forgetting my login uh, details for like, my other account. And uh, I joined Team Hypo, it was just basically something that my cousin made. Um, that was from 2013 to 2015. If you want to know how I'm actually remembering all this, I actually have uh, basically typed it out. So I actually can remember. Uh, I then got kicked from Hyper Crew, Hyper Clan, Team Hyper, whatever you want to fucking call it, to Toxic X Hens. Um, you've probably seen that game tag in a couple of videos, like when I first started off. Uh, like doing videos, not like the first few videos, they were quite old. Um, so basically, after being kicked out of Team Hyper, I made a new clan. Uh, well, I didn't actually make a new clan, there was a lot of people who made it. So then, after. Uh, oh, hang on. Yeah, so basically, I didn't change my gamer tag when I was leaving Toxic. I just couldn't be bothered until, obviously then um so i went from toxic x hands to tts the gorilla so basically after i left txgk for like the second or third time i can't fucking remember now uh i needed to change my gamer tag because i wasn't a part of it and i didn't want to go back so i basically made a new group which like i said which was the true squad it was basically made out of people that trust each other um and like people that we can rely on uh the gorilla part is um basically just a nickname because i'm hairy as fuck uh i don't just get called a gorilla i get called quite a lot of uh primate names uh, monkey um howl a monkey when i'm raging i don't know why but me um i'm gonna buy another car I are doing nothing basically uh, and then basically uh, that's basically and now coming to my this game attack uh, so basically being a co-owner slash leader of um, the TTSTK uh, I just wanted to I felt like that we had the people to go down like the competitive side um, whether that's F1 which I'm doing uh, Call of Duty, um, Overwatch, whatever, really, what we can get our ha like our heads into. Um, so basically, how I came up with Cynical Velocity was I basically just went onto Google, typed in esports name generator, and I mean they weren't like next to each other. They there was like a fair few words in between, and I saw Cynical. Um, and now, usually when you spell cynical, you spell it with a C, uh, not an S. But, I mean, cynical is quite a, uh, from what I've read on Google, it's quite a shitty word to use. But, um, yeah. I changed it from a C to an S just because, yeah, why not? I mean, CV sounds like crap, so, I mean, that's basically what you hand out when you're applying for a job. So, I went with SV. Um, which sounds a hell of a lot better and looks a lot better. Um, and then basically, I kept my nickname of Gorilla, and that was literally the only thing I didn't change about it. Um, so yeah, that's basically the whole history of my Xbox. Um, PlayStation, I mean, I can talk to you about, but it won't take that long. Uh, Hensley1995, last name, the year I was born. Hensley95, last name, part of the year that I was born. Uh, Hensley with dashes in the middle and all capitals underscore 95 it's basically the same as the other one uh, UK number one F1 racer um, is when I was playing F1 2012 with a good friend of mine that I've been best friends with for like I don't know since we were like three so it's been about 20 odd years uh, that we've known each other uh, we decided that we both got F1 and we did like a co-op uh, championship and because I couldn't use my Hensley account because it wouldn't allow me to buy anything or 
download anything without knowing my password and I didn't know my password. I had to make a new account. Um, I had that and then I joined S18 and I had S6 but SX, S6 uh, Hens was obviously it and in S18 you had to have S18 at the beginning and I was going to have S18 Reapers but someone else already had that. Um, so I would just went with my last name. And that's basically all to do with my gaming history since I was about seven. Um, so, I mean, I've done quite a fair few years. Um, it's probably one of the longest videos that I've had. Uh, I've made that. I've, I've, I've proper gone into this video knowing what I'm talking about. I haven't even bought this car that I was going to buy, but I can't remember what car I was going to get. Um, I'll probably think of it sometime. Um, but yeah, that's basically it for this video, guys. Um, I've really enjoyed making this video. Um, this took me about a month to think of all the gamer tags and all the PSN names that I had. Um, obviously we're going back quite a fair few uh, years, so it's quite hard to remember. But yeah, I've, I've really enjoyed making this video. Please like and comment and subscribe to this channel. I don't really tend to make these kind of videos that much. Um, mainly just GTA, if you haven't noticed. Um, I can't believe I don't have a Bugatti Bay one wrong with me um to be fair, it's 2.2 million so you can bugger off uh but yeah so basically that's it you might quite call it Ooh, it's tempting 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 either that one or uh the viper or oh, by both ah, by both is fine um but yeah guys thank you for watching this video um uh, please like comment and subscribe and click bell icon for notifications for when I do post. Um, I'm going to try again for like another week of uploading. I have actually, I'm actually streaming later, hopefully, if uh, me and my friend do actually remember to do it this time. Uh, I think we're going to be doing Fortnite, possibly. Uh, so we're going to be doing like a video on his channel, and then we're going to do a video on my channel. Um, I'm not really sure what we're going to be doing but yeah um obviously i'll obviously tweet out whenever i do stream uh hopefully i'll get like a few people watching fingers crossed but yeah guys i hope you really enjoyed this video um i'm not going to repeat myself again because i uh, to be fair, i probably will but yeah thank you for watching guys and i will see you in the next video